Hey everybody, welcome back Behind the Bar with me this evening. Uh, tonight we are going to take a look at the new hotness. Um, beer we're checking out is from The Vale Brewing Company, and it is Crucial Taunt Double India Pale Ale coming in at 8% alcohol by volume canned 416. Um, so we're just um, a little less than a month um, old on this beer. Before I dive into it, um, I knew a little bit about this brewery, but not a lot. Um, this can was sent uh, courtesy of my buddy David. Thank you very much. I've been dying to try some Vale uh, Brewing Company beers. Um, but if you want to know how to get hype for a brewery before it even opens, uh, Matt Tarpey uh, is one of the co-founders and brewer for uh, Vale. But here's his background. Uh, Alchemist. He brewed at Alchemist and brewed Heady Topper. He was the direct assistant to Sean Hill at Hill Farmstead and uh, for about two years. And then he also spent uh, time for uh, not too long uh, over at uh, Canteon in Brussels. So this dude has kind of covered the bases. Hill Farmstead, freaking Canteon and Alchemist. And then goes with a couple other guys to start a brewery. And uh, I've started hearing a ton of like underground noise about this brewery, and I've been dying to try one of their beers. So this is actually an extra <laughs> in a tray or in a, in a beer package that I got. So I am, I'm fired up, guys. I really am. Um, Crucial Taunt is a killer name for a beer. I'll be honest. I don't know if they got the name from where I think they did, but it was the name of Cassandra's band in Wayne's World was Crucial Taunt. Uh, so I don't know if that's the reference or not. Based on the can art, I can't really tell because it's like a Yeti or something and uh, a guy with a hat, flat build hat, same piece. I don't know. But um, I, I hope it's from Wayne's World. Um, I doubt it, but I kind of hope so. Uh, but let's check out this beer and see if the new hotness is uh, lives up to the honor. So you know how I am about New England IPAs on this channel. And this comes, I believe they are in whew, Richmond, Virginia, which... I've been to Richmond a few times. I'm going to have to go back soon. Um, anyways, let's take it out. Haze for days, orange juice in a glass, guys. I'm sure that probably looks a little darker on camera, um, but it poured out. Finger, finger and a half, bright, fluffy head, big soapy bubbles. Um, already getting some glass lacing. Killer, I mean, killer alcohol legs on the glass. Looks, I mean, it looks the style, guys. I mean, if, if you're going to judge a New England IPA and whether it lives up to that uh, billing, this looks hazy, 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 thick amazingness. So um, let's dive into the nose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huge citrus and tropical fruits. Huge. Some nice green, funky, herbal, like grassy elements. Picking up a little bit of that yeasty profile that you get from some of these beers. Treehouse I always describe as like a bubblegum juicy fruit, and I'm actually getting that in this. Definitely picking that up. Mangoes, oranges, peaches. Little bit of like a light malt presence, not getting any alcohol sweetness at all for 8%. This just smells like a frigging a juice bomb in a glass. It actually reminds me a lot. Reminds me a little bit of Julius with a little bit more pininess to it. But just big, big, big tropical fruits, guys. I am pumped up. This beer has me excited. Uh, I hope it doesn't suck because I've kind of built it up in my mind. So, I'm, you know, it may not live up to what I'm thinking based on what I'm hearing about Vale. So um, let's dive in. David, thank you very much, man. Cheers. Um, it's good. Um, it's, it's everything I described. It is huge tropical fruits. It is huge citrus. It is oranges, tangerines. It is, um, grapefruit for sure. Mango, peach, grapefruit pith. I'm getting some nice bitterness on this beer. Um, this is actually, it's, it's got a pretty decent bittering, um, 
profile to it. It's it's real good, uh, but it blends in really nice and is really balanced all the way across your palette. But it's very forward. There is a ton going on here, and it's it it lets you know it's there. You don't have to dig for anything. The mouthfeel is fantastic. It is medium to medium full. It has got that creaminess. The carbonation is wonderful. Wow. I've been on a string of IPAs lately that are really, really, really good that I've been reviewing like 95 to 98, like right in that range. I mean, like really freaking amazing world-class beer, but I hadn't had anything that blew me away in a little while. This beer is ridiculous. This reminds me a lot of Julius. Um, a lot of Julius. It really does, but just like kicked up just a smidge, um, being that this is a double IPA and Julius is a single, but the flavor profile is very similar with fresh, like fresh, fresh Julius. If you've ever had it like a week or less, it's got a pretty decent bitterness to it and a pretty decent pininess, grassiness, those just herbal green dank um, qualities. And it's definitely there and I'm getting it on the middle of the tongue, but the juice just explodes in this beer. Um, no sweetness really to speak of. I'm not getting any of the booze on this beer. I'm drinking it a smidge cold. Um, I'm kind of let this warm up a smidge as I go. Wow. This is, this is great. This is everything you want a New England double IPA to be. This is, he came from Alchemist. Well, I'm going to wait till the end to say some things. I'm kind of letting it warm up a smidge and see if there's anything else on the can about the beer. Um, hold on just a second. Let's see here. Taste is very, it's, it's forward. It's bold, not from a malt bill standpoint, which I haven't really touched on very, you're picking up a little bit of just a light malt, like a two row, um, maybe a little bit of honey malt, um, for some sweetness. It, it's great balance, great yeast profile. I'm not picking up the, the juicy fruit quite as much as I was on the nose. But it's definitely, I'm definitely tasting the yeast profile. If you've ever had like a London ale yeast or like that Conan strain, that'll give you a lot of those like fruity profiles from it that go really nice with these IPAs. You're definitely getting that from this. The nose on this is amazing. As it warms, it's just getting even better. Even better. Wow. Um... I don't really know what to say at this point. Uh, David, <laughs> thank you again, man. Uh, I have a strange feeling. I, he sent me a bunch of Aslan beer, and I drank uh, Aslan Astro Zombie last night. I don't know which one I'm going to post first. I might actually post this first. So, spoiler alert, if I do, um, Aslan, uh, the Aslan Astro Zombie might be after it. We'll see. Um, but that beer was awesome. This beer crushes that. Not crushes that. It, that's That was horrible. It does not crush it. It's just... It's just the one thing I did about that beer was that the nose was fantastic, but in the, in the mouth, uh, the taste was really, really good, but it wasn't as forward as the nose was. It almost had like a, like a watery bit to it. Like it was just a little thinner. Um, this on the other hand is not, 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 not. This is forward in every way. This is fantastic. Um, so to what I was going to say, I'm giving this a hundred out of a hundred. Um, I don't know that hype train real. Maybe it's me bumping it up a point or two because of that. I don't think so though. This is this is on par with Treehouse guys. This is the thickness, the mouthfeel, um, the carbonation, the velvetiness of the carbonation just glides across your tongue, and it dry. It finishes a little dry, and it just makes me constantly. I mean, I've pounded almost this this glass, which is more than half that can, while I've been sitting here talking. Um, damn. This is this is what I look for in, in a double IPA. This is what I want it to be. Um, so I said 100 out of 100. I mean, this guy came from Alchemist um, in Hill Farmstead. It's kind of like those two blended. It really is a good marriage of those two. Like, this is very... Actually, this is really similar to, like, a Society in Solitude 4 and, um, you know, like a double like the double galaxy double citra kind of beers like it's that level of good and i still contend that those beers are some of the best i've had this year and this is in that conversation guys this is fantastic 
ridiculous. It has it has every element that I want. Everyone. Um, crucial taunt. The ballroom blitz. Wow. Killer stuff, guys. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this off camera. And I am going to uh, try and seek out anything Vale Brewing Company that I can get from now on. Because this is awesome stuff. Uh, I can't thank David enough. Um, guys, if you can get a hold of this. I don't know what their footprint is. I know their brewery is beautiful. I looked at some photos when I was trying to get some info because I really didn't know a lot about them except I'd heard, you know, they make good beer. Um, so I commend them and I hope that they, they see this, at least see that, that I think, you know, there are people out there that think they're doing amazing things. Keep doing it. I can't wait to, to try your guys' beers. I mean, this is one of their mainstream beers and it is freaking awesome. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Get to Richmond, guys. Find somebody that can get it for you because this is awesome. Uh, 100 out of 100. Thanks for coming behind the bar. Uh, thanks for the likes, subscribes, and comments. Till next time. Cheers.